Hello, thanks for tuning in. This is a demo video about an instrument I made together with my friend uh, Marco Timosi. My name is Henry Falk. Um, so I will take you through some of the basic controls of this synth and see how we can use it. And um, it's basically, it's a modular uh, synth built with uh, uh, beep objects in Max, and um, it basically makes a drone. Um, you might find other sound design applications for it, but how, the way it was designed, it's mainly to make to make drones and some other interesting noises and uh, and so um, so um, to get this editor window where you can actually play and control the instrument you drag the device uh, to a midi track in ableton and then you click the uh, edit button in the upper right corner of the device uh, that will open the the max editor and you can and that will take you here uh, there are no controls as you can see in the actual device uh, in ableton so uh, first thing you might want to do is to to take all the levels and down on the two mixers and uh, mute them as well so you start from a, from a silent uh, so you get a silent start to sort of explore the different sound generators um, and you can also take down the time uh, knob on the gigaverb here if it if it's still making some sound because this yeah has a pretty long buffer so um, well maybe first we can start quite dry so if we bypass the the effects to see what the different sound generators are doing so there are two four channel mixers and each feature four different sound generators uh, if you want to know more about these sound generators and oscillators, you can write, you can unlock the patch, uh, right click, and choose the first option here, open, uh, help. Then you will get uh, an additional window with more information about the uh, about the module. So I won't go that much into detail in this video. Uh, more look at the the big picture. So this information will be available for most of the modules. Um, so if we start with the first one here, we unmute it, lock the patch, unmute, turn up the volume a bit. This one is called the macro oscillator. So you can play with the frequency here, the timbre, the color. Um, for all of these sound generators, or for most of them, you can choose if you want to play with the frequency or with the semitones. Uh, I prefer frequency. Yeah, then we have the cloud module. the sound and then we have the quad harmonic oscillator you can change waveforms here play with the frequency And there's a noise generator on the fourth channel where you have a uh, white and pink noise. On the other mixer we have this oscillator. There's a sine tone there now. The reset oscillator. Um, we have a 
Gaussian noise generator. And we have a polyphonic drone keyboard. And on this one you can you can hit multiple keys if you have latch mode uh, uh, activated you can have several keys latched at the same time it makes a pretty nice sound and uh, the visual feedback on this one is a little bit buggy and there's some latency but there are two keys two keys um, pressed at the moment. You can change the sound here with the waveform. And then, uh, by the way, uh, most of the controls on these sound uh, generators can be modulated with uh, LFOs. And uh, you can always add more LFOs, of course. Uh, there's one here now for each uh, mixer, so to speak. And how these work is um, the CV controls on the modules uh, determine how, how deep or how wide the modulation will be. And the knobs on the LFO determine the speed. So we have opened the CV controls here a bit and if we then um, turn up the CV knob on the LFO or the frequency knob we will start hearing movement of various speed then uh, both of these mixers with all these sound generators go into one multi-mode filter and here you can change the setting depending on what type of filter you want uh, I prefer uh, the bandpass uh, setting um, and I also have an LFO uh, here where I can have some movement of the frequency and and resonance. I can also move it um, this way or just turn the frequency knob depending on where I where in the frequency spectrum I want to be. This uh, this filter then goes to uh, the signal goes out to three parallel effects: uh, the gigaverb, which is a reverb, the chorus, and the feedback delay. Uh, and so they they are now bypassed just to give a better idea of the, the the dry sound of these different sound generators. If we turn on the gigaverb start to hear that the sound gets really really big and all the different sounds really kind of gel together in a nice way in this reverb um, you have the chorus and the delay as well and then these uh, effects then the signal goes through the effects and filters and this is to create the stereo imaging so the left channels of the effects go to the to one filter the right channels go to one um, and by uh, having slightly different settings than configurations for the two filters you can create uh, your desired stereo image uh, I here again prefer the bandpass setting and I, this LFO here for for modulating the, the parameters of the filters so we have the CV turned up a little bit here to have some slow movement and we have the CV gates uh, of the frequency and resonance up a bit um, and then the signal goes 
out from the filters and into a compressor um, for for the final volume and dynamic range um, setting. So yeah, that's uh, in a nutshell how the instrument works. I hope you can find some get some useful sounds out of it. I uh, hope you like it. And another thing I should mention um, is that uh, in order to save uh, your settings, if you say you find a sound that you really like or a patch you, um, you like and you want to continue uh, working on it or you want to save it for future use, then you need to uh, save the actual live set and keep that as your saved file, so to speak. Uh, if you only hit save here in the Max editor, um, but don't actually save a live set with these settings, then they will be lost, unfortunately. Uh, if you save here and then you open the device again in a new project, then all the modules will will um, start at their default uh, values. Um, that's uh, how it works um, when you're using Max for Live. If you have the full version of Max, the separate sort of Max version, uh, Max MSP version, um, uh, I think it it works differently and that you can you can find a way to, to save all your settings more easily but uh, not in this case so that's something to keep in mind um, yeah so thanks for tuning in uh, hope you like it and until next time